Today, we've mixed a whole set of exercises using the TRX and just your own body weight. We've mixed them specifically for MMA and MMA style conditioning. In MMA, you end up in a lot of different positions, bad positions where you might be leaning off balance. This move right here simulates that by having to throw a knee. <coughs> and that seems like about enough of those from my <laughs> perspective. Today we're going to be teaching warm-ups and drills for MMA from a wrestling and jiu-jitsu point of view. I need to keep coming close to him and keep readjusting my side control. I can't be too high because he can roll me over, all right? Today we're going to teach you how to do a variety of MMA conditioning drills. But what's important is that we don't just do the drills for the sake of doing them, just to be exhausted for example, but we want to make sure that we're executing the technique correctly, especially when it comes down to the specifics of MMA. Let's think about it now with the foot fixed on the ground. If I've got an athlete doing something like this, working this way, working anything up here where this pelvis is kind of moving, it's produced by internal and external hip rotation right here. And by exercising and giving those little short bursts of that sympathetic nervous system, it actually increases the parasympathetic response during rest, which means we start mimicking more the way that we're actually engineered to live. Let's look at the term power. Power is actually a lot of strength done really fast. But if we look at the sport itself, each lift is actually a max lift done very slowly. As maximum strength is so important in every sport because you need maximum strength to be able to do power itself. It's important to note that in the Olympic lift, we do not pull the bar up. The vertical height of the bar is created by the powerful leg and hip extension. It's not created by arm pull. The arms come into play by pulling ourselves under the bar. Kettlebell training dates back to the early 1700s, but it's extremely versatile and it's become one of the most popular training methodologies in the world today. You can do it with a dumbbell, you can do it with a kettlebell. <laughs> 